Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Nostalgia Unboxings. Today I have an interesting item. I ordered some uh, handmade candies from the Lofty Pursuits website. If you don't know what uh, Lofty Pursuits is, it is, uh, it is another YouTube channel, albeit one much bigger than mine currently is, that uh, it ma they make candy, essentially, because uh, I guess the guy, his name is Greg, owns a, a little candy shop uh, down in Florida, and he decided to start filming the candy making process, and it's really cool. Um, I'm a big fan of the channel, just, uh, I like watching it before I go to sleep, kind of, at night when they make a new episode, although... Because of the uh, current events, they have not been able to make an episode recently since, you know, they can't open the shop because of uh, Corona, I don't think. So, that kind of blows. But, yeah, it's, uh, so he gives a whole rundown of, like, the whole candy making process. He shows it from step one all the way until it's all nice and done in little candy form. And uh, it's really interesting. Like, a lot of the history behind certain flavors, certain candy shapes, stuff like that, it's all... You know, stuff you don't really think about, and then you hear it and you go, Wow, that's a lot more interesting than I expected it to be, since we're just talking about, like, a congealed brick of sugar. But yeah, it's uh, a pretty great channel. They taped this thing up really well. So, uh, I have three... Okay, that definitely went through. I have three different flavors here today, inside this box. Or at least I should, unless uh, they mess something up. There we go, using my animal strength. I have popped open the box. Whoa! Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to move the box out of the camera. Since there is a uh, exposed slip <laughs> with some information at the very bottom. So these are the bags. They're uh, not too big, I guess, but it also depends on... Uh, how fast you go through candy if you have some uh, self-control <laughs> then you could make these last for quite a while uh, the total price was I think I paid like 25 bucks honestly like including shipping for all three of these bags which isn't terrible considering they're all you know nice handmade uh, candies in small batches and the cool part is most of these you can actually go to their channel and watch it being made, which is freaking cool. Like, that's so cool to me. I don't know. It's not something you really ever get to see with any other food, more or less. I mean, unless you're at, like, the hibachi grill. But this is candy. So the three flavors I picked out, um, I went for the more kind of unique, interesting stuff. So we have these, um, these are the Whorehound and Marshmallow Cough Drops. And you see, they have, like, it says cough right there. Uh, these are actually, a lot of the candies also he makes on like machines that are like 200 years old um, from like back in the Victorian era, which is awesome. And that includes these like cough drop actual, um, well you can't see it from this side, the cough drop stamps, which is really, really cool. But uh, we will start with these ones. I will keep all the other flavors secret for when we actually get to them. Hee hee hee. Delightfully devilish. So it pops open, it's a nice receivable bag too, which uh, I gotta give them credit. That's a really, really nice touch. I do have a little paper towel, so I do not accidentally get any sticky candy on my, uh, on my little filming surface here, which is also doubles as my bed. So it says, what is that? Dullin? I think it says Dullin. It's very hard to, Mullen, there we go, it says Mullen, I can see it now. So that was the original company that owned the press that they're using now, which is pretty cool. Oh, sorry about that. And then cough. So I'm going to try this right now and uh, I'll let you know what I think of it. Ooh. Okay. So in the video, he explained what Whorehound actually tastes like. And I very much agree with um, what he said. He said that it's a very licorice flavor. And it is a very, very licorice flavor. If you're not a fan of licorice, I would definitely not... I would not get the Whorehound and Marshmallow ones. There's also no marshmallow flavor at all to them, because, um... They're not actually flavoring it with marshmallow, they're just using the actual marshmallow root from the plant that it's derived from. And rather than giving flavor... I guess what it does... And um, what they used it for back in the day, so they used basically an original recipe for this. It was, um, it kind of moistens up your throat to help relieve your coughing. 
And um, yeah, it works. Personally, I am a fan of licorice, so these are delicious. <laughs> uh, I really like them. Um, I'm sure, you know, your grandparents might enjoy these types of flavors more than uh, a lot of the Zoomers out there. But these are good. I'm really satisfied with these ones. Jump cut. It took me, took me just a little while <laughs> to uh, finish crunching up that uh, candy, so this video didn't take three hours. Next up, we have pickle, dill pickle flavored candy. I'm a big, um, I love like dill pickle flavors. Being a, a, a Slav, so to speak, hailing from Lithuania, I am a huge fan of all these kinds of pickly things. So I'm assuming I will actually enjoy this one, even though the flavor does sound very weird. Pop the bag open. We have the little pickle itself, kind of translucent. No fancy um, stamp on it or anything, and now let's get right to it. Mmm. Okay. So, it doesn't taste as much of, like, as the pickle itself, if that makes sense. It tastes more like kind of the brine. What the pickle would be in, you know, in the jar. Very kind of vinegary, acid flavor. And honestly, yeah, I like it. It's really good. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty used to, like, super weird flavors, I guess, so maybe these don't phase me as much as they would someone else who, you know, grabs a piece of candy and wants it to taste like candy. I guess the stereotypical candy flavor, rather than... Pickle juice. <laughs> but, yeah, they're really good. Um, I should also add that this video is in no way sponsored my Lofty Pursuits. I'm just a fan of the channel and always wanted to, you know, try some of the candy that I watched them making. And thought, hey, that'd make a good video, I think. So, here we are. <laughs> I should also show off their logo here. This is, a. Uh, a caricature of Greg himself, the owner, who provides all the voicing for the the videos on the channel. Seems like a great guy. Uh, he has such a relaxing voice, too. So, 10 out of 10 on that front. But yeah, Lofty Pursuits. And you can buy these candies if you want. Um, they are made in pretty small batches, so I can't guarantee that all these, can these same flavors will be available when you guys go on there. But they have like 50 flavors at any one time, more or less. So... You should be fine finding something that will uh, tickle your fancy. So it'll be at www.pd.net. And now I'll link to that also in the description and stuff for sure. And uh, the actual candy store, I believe, is called Public Displays of Confection. And it's in Tallahassee, Florida, as Greg states in every video. And a final jump cut, hopefully. We move on to the final flavor and what I think is gonna be the weirdest one because I actually don't even know exactly what the flavor is this is the um, forbidden fruit candy is what they called it and it might be hard to see I will try to pull one out but these are actually <laughs> these are based on Tide Pods uh, hopefully not the actual flavor of Tide Pods, because I can only imagine that going very bad. But, uh, I guess they made their own flavor, mixed something up in-house that tasted very strange and unique, and maybe what you would expect a Tide Pod to taste like, given its colors. And here we go. It kind of looks like a berry. I think they used, um, a berry drop mold for this, since they didn't, they probably didn't have their own, like, special Tide Pod molds, but they did swirl all the candy around with the color, so, you know, it kind of gets the point across, especially on this side. And I'm kind of nervous, because I, I really hope this actually tastes good, and they didn't just, like, pull an epic prank on everyone here, but, uh... Oh, man, it's really tart. It's like sour, I did not expect that. What are these other flavors? It's definitely... It's definitely 
berries, some sort of berries. I'm gonna go out on a limb and see maybe, maybe like raspberry flavor. But there's definitely like several things mixed in here. But the tartness definitely makes me think of like blue raspberry, maybe lemonade. It's really good though. It's super fruity and soury, so if you're into any of those kinds of flavors, this would be right up your alley. It's really, really good. Honestly, out of all three of these, this is my favorite one. Um, I'd probably rank the pickle one last, even though I, I did enjoy it, but I did enjoy the other ones a bit better. I really do like the licorice flavor of this one. It's very, like... I don't know, it kind of makes you relax when you're eating it. It's just like kind of one of those, like, chill flavors, I guess. If that makes any sense. I don't know, maybe I'm just a really weird eater and can associate flavors with kind of feelings and stuff. But, um, yeah, this one was really good, but this is def this definitely takes the cake. Because it's a very... These are very simple flavors, where it's like, you know, just kind of briny and acidy. And this one's just pure licorice, almost. Whereas this one has, like, it's really complex. It's got all those weird fruit notes going around there, like that lemonade, blue raspberry vibe. And then that citric acid, the sourness. It was really good. Ah, here. Forbidden Fruit 2. Uh, I guess they made a couple versions of this. and Because um, the first one, from what I understand, what it said on the site was a, a limited run. And, but it was like so much that they were like, you know, we gotta make it again. And then they made it again. And we got this. <laughs> and it is good, so it works. And, uh, congratulations to PD.net and Lofty Pursuits. Aha, see, they, they don't tell us, so it just says artificial flavors, natural and artificial colors. Make me just a coconut oil, huh. I don't think I've ever seen them actually put coconut oil into candy on the on the channel. So I wonder if that's like maybe like a lubricant they use or something. But yeah. It's very good. I will probably finish this candy, this particular one off screen. But that's about it for the video. This really didn't come in handy at all, I guess. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching me. <laughs> Test these kind of very strange and somewhat historic candy flavors. I'm really thankful that they actually all ended up being good. And I didn't like throw up on camera because that would be bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you aren't a subscriber already, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Liked or disliked and dropped a comment, you know, telling me what you think. Do you think these candies are good? Have you tried them? Do you want to try them? Uh, are you a fan of lofty pursuits in general? Stuff like that. It would all be great to hear since my comments seem to have not been very active so far. <laughs> and I, I would like to just interact with people because I think it's fun to, you know, hear other people's opinions and whatnot. So yeah, uh, see so you get my make a new video every Saturday. So I hope to see you there next time, everyone. Have a good one. Bye-bye.